Hello and welcome to the Crochet Business School podcast. I'm Kelly Thomas, the Crochet Profit Queen, and I'm going to show you how you can make a living from your crochet while avoiding the burnout and being able to make what you want and when you want. Have you signed up to the Crochet Business School newsletter yet? Don't forget to do that now at crochetbusinessschool.com forward slash subscribe and get tips and free resources straight to your inbox. Do you want to be the next overnight success of the crochet world? Well, you could be. In three to six months, you could be. See, the thing about overnight successes is, is that you only found out about them on, say, today. You hadn't heard of them yesterday. A lot of other people hadn't heard of them yesterday, but today they're everywhere. They're all over the place. That crochet design they published and went viral brought that person to everyone's attention. Someone can be an overnight success through one viral post, through one viral pattern, through one video that just suddenly gets traction and goes for it. The thing about that is that you can't predict it. You can't predict what's going to grab hundreds, thousands of people's attention just like that. It's unpredictable. People who became an overnight success had no idea it was about to happen. I mean, every year there's a viral pattern, a viral design that goes round and everyone recreates it. And that first design becomes really well known, as does the designer. There was the messy bun hat a few years back. That was absolutely epic. It just went everywhere. We had um, the pocket shawl. Those were absolutely everywhere. Wind spinners, they've been absolutely everywhere. And so the person who creates the first design absolutely skyrockets their business. But you hadn't heard of them the day before. To become an overnight success is to put the work in. And the general rule is that the work you do today will pay off in three to six months. Because don't forget, these people didn't just pick up a crochet hook and put their first design out and it's out there. That's not how they became an overnight success. They put the work in first. It's just that you never heard about it. You have to do the work today to become the overnight success later down the line. It could be months away. But unless you put that groundwork in now, that viral success will never happen. I mean, not everyone does get a viral success rate. Not everyone will ever have that experience, but it's possible. And the only thing you can say is that it's a possibility, but not if you don't do the work. So the people who put out these um, patterns that went absolutely crazy, the pocket shawls, the messy bun hat, the wind spinners, They've put years of working beforehand to get their crochet skills going, to build their businesses, to get their patterns out there. They knew how to do it. They knew how to create a design. They knew how to create a good design that would get, that they could promote. They knew where to sell it. They knew how to promote it. They knew how to take pictures that will show their design in the best light. They knew how to take the videos and edit them so they could post them on social media. That's a lot of work because patterns have to be designed, written, tested, get all the photos taken, get the um, listing descriptions done, PDFs made, and then the promotion starts. It's a whole process. So to become the overnight success, they put a lot of work in first. They did not just suddenly come out of nowhere, slap a post about a pattern that they designed the day before. It takes months of work to get there. So you do have to be prepared to put the work in. If you go viral but don't have anything to offer, in that your post goes viral but the pattern is poorly written, 
Um, you don't have anything supporting you. You have no customer service. You have no email list set up. It can be the worst thing that happens because you get a terrible reputation because people are complaining the pattern isn't well written. People cannot follow you, so you can't capitalize on that success if you don't don't have an email list, if you don't have a um, a group set up so they can keep in contact with you. If you are not ready for your post to go viral, for your video to be spread around the world, if you're not ready for it, then what's the point? And so you have to put the groundwork in. You have to lay the foundations for a business that is prepared for this, should it ever happen. And I'll tell you something, when it does, you will not be prepared for it. It's bananas. I did have a small taste of this a couple of years ago. I released my first crochet long and I was expecting a couple of hundred people to sign up to it. I ended up getting 5,000 in two months, which was nuts. It was insane. I mean, 5,000 isn't considered viral. It's not. That's very low end. But because I wasn't expecting it, because I was expecting a couple of hundred people, it was insanity. I actually considered shutting the whole thing down and walking away because it was so overwhelming. Being an overnight success, I mean, looking back, was what happened with me was amazing. It was so unexpected, but how incredible. But at the time, it was like, rabbit in the headlights, what do I do? So while going viral is incredible, and you would look back on it and think, wow, I can actually achieve that. At the time when you're going through it, it's actually a bit of a nightmare because you get bombarded with messages. You get bombarded with friend requests. You get bombarded with requests to join your group. Your email list blows up. Your social media goes off on one. And it's like, well, what do I do now? How, how do I deal with this? And it's insanity. Going viral does not necessarily translate into profits unless you're set up for it. You have to find a way to capitalize on it. So if you go viral over a free pattern, how do you capitalize on that? Do you have ads set up on the blog? Because if this happens on a PDF, you've got issues. Capitalizing on a PDF is hard because the only way to get them then translate that viral into um, profits is to get them on your email list and then send other offers out through that list. Profiting directly is very is more difficult if you're not set up as a free pattern on a blog because you can get ad revenue from that. You can get affiliate revenue from that. But if you release a free pattern as a PDF and it is not linked to an email list, that is a big boo-boo. You have to make sure that everything you release, you can profit from in some way should this overnight success happen. You have to be ready for it in case it does. I mean, there is no guarantee of it. There never is. But it's also one of those things where be careful what you wish for <laughs> because it's, yeah, it's insane. I mean, I only had 5,000. I mean, when it's tens of thousands, that must be so hard. It's a double-edged sword because all of a sudden you have an awful lot more eyes on you. And if you're not ready for it, it's incredibly overwhelming. Hindsight is a wonderful thing and it's incredible looking back. But at the time, it's a case of what do I do with this? To be an overnight success is all about what you put in beforehand. You will never have control over which of your designs gets that amazing popularity. You will never be able to control the timing of it. 
because just because you released it last week doesn't mean it's going to go viral now. It could end up being a slow burner and go viral in six months' time. Who knows? You know, it could be that somebody shares your pattern that they've just happened to come across, and it's the person who shares it is why it's gone gone, um, bananas. So if somebody with a huge following shares your pattern, that's going to piggyback onto you, but you have no control over that. You will never know if or when it's going to happen. And when it does, does it boost your business? Of course it does. But only if you're set up right. If you haven't done the foundation work and got your social media sorted out, your email list sorted out, and how you get people into those um, channels, you will not be able to capitalize on this newfound popularity. The foundation work has to be there. So don't skip the fundamentals because, you know, tons of new eyes on your business overnight and what you have to offer the crochet world is incredible. But it will only do you good if you are set up and ready. And so that's why you've got to do the groundwork. Overnight successes actually take months and years to create. It's just that you don't see what comes beforehand because you only just heard of them. We hear of overnight successes, but you don't think about the backstory and how long it's taken to get there. You know, so success does not happen overnight, not for anyone. It takes years of practice, years of doing the foundation work, years of putting the pieces in place. And there is no guarantee that you will get anything of yours going viral on the internet. But you can hope that you do. And you can be, you know, be working away and putting the groundwork in so that if one day it does happen, that you can make the most of it and capitalize on it so that it translates into profits. Because after all, if you can't translate it into profits, what's the point? It's all well and good being popular, but unless it pays the bills, there's an issue there. So thank you for listening. And I hope that you found that it gives you food for thoughts and you know, keep going and doing the work because it will pay off eventually. And as always, if you have any questions, please do come to our Facebook group. The link is in the show notes. But thank you for listening, and I shall see you next time for the next episode. Bye for now.